Hello, my tiny loves. Um, I am back again to read you some more out of the box car children. And we're just getting into the good part of this book. First couple chapters just gave you a little lead up, but this part's the next part that's getting into the really good stuff. This is chapter number three called A New Home in the Woods. So here you can see Henry, Benny, Jesse, and Violet, and the boxcar, the first appearance. At last, Jessie opened her eyes. Okay, so remember that they were sleeping in the woods and um, they had made beds out of pine cones or pine needles and they were sleeping in the woods and they didn't hear the thunder rolling because they were sleeping. All right. At last, Jessie opened her eyes. It was morning but the sun was covered by clouds. She sat up and looked all around her and she looked at the sky. It seemed like night for it was very dark. Suddenly it began to thunder and she saw that it was really going to rain. What shall we do? Where shall we go? Thought Jessie. The wind was blowing more and more and more clouds across the sky and the lightning was very near. She walked a little way into the woods looking for a place to go out of the rain. Where shall we go? She thought again. And then she saw something ahead of her in the woods. It was an old box car. What a good house that will be in the rain, she thought. She ran over to the box car. There was no engine and the track was very old and rusty. It was covered with grass and bushes because it had not been used for a long time. It is a box car, said Jessie, and we can get into it and stay until it, until it stops raining. She ran back as fast as she could to the other children. The sky was black and the wind was blowing very hard. Hurry, hurry, cried Jessie. I have found a good place. Hurry as fast as you can. Henry took Benny's hand and they all ran through the woods after Jessie. It's beginning to rain, cried Henry. We'll soon be there, Jessie shouted back. It's not too far. And when we get there, you must help me open the door. It is heavy. The stump of a big tree stood right under the door of the boxcar, and it was just right for a step. Jesse and Henry jumped up on the old dead stump and rolled back the heavy door of the car, and Henry looked in. There's nothing in here, he said. Come, Benny, we'll help you up. Violet went in next, and last of all, Jesse and Henry climbed in. They were just in time. How the wind did blow, they rolled the door shut, and then it really began to rain. Oh, how it did rain. It just rained and rained. The children could hear it on the top of the boxcar, but no rain came in. What a good place this is, said Violet. It is just like a warm little house with one room. After a while, the rain and lightning and thunder stopped, and the wind did not blow so hard. Then Henry opened the door and looked out. All the children looked into the woods. The sun was shining, but some water still fell from the trees. In front of the boxcar was a pretty little brook that ran over rocks with a waterfall in it. What a beautiful place, said Violet. Henry, cried Jessie, let's live here. Live here, asked Henry. Yes, why not, said Jessie. This boxcar is a fine little house. It is dry and warm in the rain. We can wash in the brook, said Violet. Please, Henry, begged Jessie. We could have a nice little home here. We could find some dishes and make four beds and a table and maybe chairs. No, said Benny. I don't want to live here, Jessie. Oh dear, why not, Benny? Asked Jessie. I'm afraid, afraid an engine will come and take us away, answered Benny. Henry and Jessie laughed. Oh no, Benny, an engine will never take this car away. It is an old, old car and the grass and bushes are growing all over the track. Then doesn't the engine use this track anymore? Asked Benny. No, indeed, said Henry. He was beginning to want to live in the boxcar too. We'll stay here today anyway. Then can I have my dinner here? Asked Benny. Yes, you shall have dinner now, said Henry. So Jessie took the last loaf of bread and cut it into four pieces. It was very dry. Benny ate the bread, but soon he began to cry. I want some milk too, Jessie, he begged. He ought to have milk, said Henry. I'll go to the next town and get some. But Henry didn't want to start. He looked to see how much money he's had. And then he stood thinking. At last he said, 
I don't want to leave you girls alone. Oh, said Jesse, we'll be all right. We'll have a surprise for you when you come back. Just wait and see. Goodbye, Henry, said Benny. So Henry walked off through the woods. And when he was gone, Jesse said, Now, children, what do you think we're going to do? What do you think I saw over in the woods? I saw some blueberries. Oh, oh, cried Benny. I know what blueberries are. Can we have blueberries and milk, Jesse? Yes. Jesse was beginning, but suddenly she heard a noise. Crack, crack, crack. Something was in the woods. And that's where the chapter ends. What do you think it is? Okay, I love you. Bye.